Good morning! It's a multi-day process to clean up this carburetor. I soaked the carburetor overnight in water and white vinegar to get a bunch of that gunk out. So now I'm going to leave it outside to dry a little bit. I have all the nuts and washers right here also to dry. It's 4.36 in the morning and I'm going to head out on a run soon, but before I do I wanted to come out and start cleaning up this carburetor. It really needs it. It really, really needs it. So I'm out here with a degreaser, steel wool, heavy duty glove, and I am scrubbing. I have my blue glove on today again because I don't want scraps from my steel wool to fall on my hand, which they are. I don't want all the grease or the degreaser on my hand. And, and frankly, I just want a little protection as I hold onto the carburetor. just thinking to myself, how am I going to get into those difficult to reach spots? Those little nooks and crannies and crevices and sounds kind of like an English muffin. But how am I going to clean these tiny little bits of the carburetor? You know what? I remember, I just got these brand new brushes. How exciting! It really is looking so much better though. And I gotta say, I'm quite good at this. Starting with the center nut down here, it is definitely in the hardest place because there's the least amount of room. So um, I really gotta get my little fingers in there and then I'll tighten it with a wrench. You can't really see it too well. There we go. It's almost easier for me to just look at the camera to see what I'm doing. I think that one is just about perfectly tight. There, all right. Now to do the rest, and the rest should be much quicker and easier. So, we're gonna start with our washer. These washers are really cool. See? My kids are inside having a little bit of quiet time. I'm out here. When I'm finished with this, I plan to make dinner. And then tonight, I want to do another walk through my food forest. I haven't been out there since yesterday. <laughs> but things change. Things change all the time. The baby mangoes are growing up. New flowers have sprouted. 
So I'm really excited to go see what's happening. Kind of like my fire engine here. Planting is something I've always been interested in. Something I never knew anything about until I jumped in with both feet. So if you're interested in planting and seeing what I'm growing in the concept of a food forest, gardening, um, growing your own fruits, vegetables, edible flowers and leaves, um, companion planting, any of that stuff. Tune into some of those videos. You can find them here on my channel. Something I didn't clean off, which maybe I would next time, are these screws because while I clean the nuts and I clean the carburetor, I didn't come out and knock this 30 year old rust off my screws. I think had I done that, this would be a much quicker and slightly easier process. But you know what? I am not complaining at all. I'm very happy to be out here and to have time to do it and to have the sun to do it in and the tools and the opportunity, so. Before I get off on a great full track, I'll just say that next time I might do it a little differently. Oh, you know what, actually? I have a spray that I will try out right now. How's that? I'm all about working smart, not necessarily hard. So I'm going to take a little bit of this degreaser spray, put on my shop towel, and I'm going to take this, put it on top of the old screw. See if that makes a difference when I'm screwing on my nut. I think that it'll go on a lot easier. In fact, I'm going to do a few of these because I can already see the gunk coming off. And for right now, that gunk, that is definitely my technical term. That, that makes it quicker and easier. Let's try. So, once again, I've got my really handy dandy, very super duper cool washer. Slide that puppy on. Got my nut. Gonna put him on. And we're gonna give him a spin. Whoa, that's so much easier. Oh man, I'm so glad I thought of this. And I didn't wait. Look at that. That's just spinning like it was meant to be there. Tighten it up a little bit. You know, me and my mom hands gotta keep them smooth for the kiddos. I'm putting on some gloves. So these are my green gloves. The one part of the carburetor that I didn't put on yet is this guy. See? So I'll put him on last. But now I'm ready to clean up the engine. Hello, wasp. Have you come to join me? All right. So we're going to start here. And I'm just going to start by knocking off some of the old remnants. Let, let's do a uh, before and after. I just started on the engine. You can see where I've brushed it a little bit over here. It used to look more like that. Carburetor's on. Let's give it a clean. Here we go. washing dishes <laughs> but it's so much hotter outside and this is so much tougher and it requires so much more elbow grease than dishes which are just a little bit of soap a little bit of water bam done right into the dishwasher 
truck is a fire truck. And not just any fire truck, it's my fire truck. So, I think it still beats doing dishes. Definitely. I just moved the rust around a lot. I really don't know how well I did. So I'm going to grab a hose and I'm going to spray it down and we'll take a look. But before I do that, I want to put my air filter back on. So I lined it up, screw it in. Thank you. Hose delivery. How lucky am I? up here it is really turning red it looks great I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of degreaser I'm gonna brush it gently with a nylon brush you got to be careful so I don't take the paint off I just want to get that grease off it's really caked on so I just got to be really gentle here gentle is not my middle name reflection so this is still red kind of look like paint chipped looks so much better now just to connect these guys back the last bit for me to put on right now is this rusty old spring and it's such an interesting spring right it's got one nice big opening and it's got this thing it's like a claw Rawr. Rawr. all right so this actually goes around the screw right here, and this pulls all the way to the hole, like that, and that's how it goes. Ta-da! Beautiful, huh? Look at that! Thanks for joining me so far on this journey. If you have been following along, then you know that I'm training for a marathon, and I love fitness. I'm just passionate about being active and fit and healthy. And so I am going to quote one of my favorite fitness pros, Tony Horton. And Tony says, do your best and forget the rest. And today I'm all about being your best. Good morning. It's not a run day, but I am up super early and I'm so excited to be able to go work on the truck this morning. So I'm gonna be working by the light of flashlight and I'm gonna clean up the other side of the engine and then I can finish. <laughs> Yesterday, if I had more time, I would have washed both sides, but I just didn't. So today, I'm gonna clean up this side of the engine. Here's our before. Let's see our after. I can't wait to knock all that grease off. And of course, it's so early. The sun is just starting to come up. It's still so dark. Let's see a couple of stars. All right, and let's get to it. Oh, this is so much better than working in the heat of the day. I do love an early morning. I really do. Now that it's all sprayed down, I'm gonna start scrubbing. Did you see that? 
video about where the officer came out looking for the VIN number. And back in 1952, for these American Lafrance fire trucks, they didn't use VIN numbers. Oh, how am I gonna get this thing registered? I did follow up with the officer. I still haven't heard from him. I think I'll give him a call today. friends moment of truth here's our after who would have known that this engine is actually red not I so it looks a lot lot better there's still a few areas like way down in there I wasn't able to get that well this morning uh, but look it that's no longer black you can actually see the beautiful red a little bit of there it's still caked on I gotta come back another time Carburetor is looking good from this side. I mean, the whole engine looks so much better. Moment of truth, I think I did a great job. I'm stopping here today. It's not finished, we know that. It's not perfect, but look, the sun is up. It's time for me to go inside and be mom. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.